so yesterday I was uh, stumbling through Facebook and I went to this girl's page who grew up in my neighborhood and she was saying that her older sister's husband had passed. I knew them both. Um, I mean, not really well, but I knew who they were. And then I was surprised that um, her husband, I was like, oh, I know that name. I went to junior high school with him. And I was thinking, wow, like, I had no idea they ended up together. And I was thinking, how did they meet? <laughs> how did they end up with one another? And, uh, you know, their family is really, really great, these two girls. So um, then I was thinking, like, wow, like, I didn't realize that, you know, <laughs> this guy was so awesome. And they had a picture of him. And he looked really happy and, like, full of, like, kind of light and love. And I was like, wow, you know, of course, you know, to end up with one of these girls, he must have been that way. Because I wouldn't expect anything less. And then I was just got me thinking, like, how much in control of our lives are we? Like, how do we meet who we meet? It's, um, I think that there is a design to it, and it's just not something that we are consciously privy to much of the time. And that's why there's all this advice saying to live from the heart. Um, <laughs> and, you know, the, the heart's supposed to lead, the mind's supposed to be a passenger. At least that's according to my understanding of the world now even though society tells us differently you're supposed to think your way through life but thinking is actually secondary to some other states of awareness like love and feelings those all come first beliefs that comes before thinking and i'll talk more about the states of awareness in another video but uh yeah it just got me thinking along those lines and i wanted to share with you